Minimum Information Principle. So let me tell you, there's an interesting belief out there in the development community that they explain everything about the application in detail. Now, it's not necessarily bad, but sometimes this really good behavior goes beyond its good intention. And that means that it provides some important information for a pen tester. So this kind of information sometimes can help us in, well, particularly vital situations. There may be different ways to get this kind of information, but I want to give you a few tips. So the first thing is to read just about all the HTML source files, or at least write your own script to investigate the sources for certain special tags and words. You can find an HTML comment that contains any information about the back end of the application, such as passwords, usernames. That's golden. Also look through the help pages. Use the demo users if the application has one. Now, once I test an application, I can see an unauthenticated help document, which contains an administrative demo user. So it's these types of errors that are, well, decreasing constantly because companies are moving faster and faster to better deployment and better development environments. But that doesn't mean they're not out there. Also, there may be some error and warning directives that are helpful to the general users, such as your password is wrong. See, but for a pen tester, this means brute force a password because you've already got some usernames, right? And sometimes errors are caused in the back end, and those can be directly reflected to the user. And again, for a general user, it doesn't have any meaning. But the hacker or a pen tester is not the same as a general user. And now one last thing that I want to mention to you. Sometimes we can observe all the information about all the employees on the website of the company. Seriously, all board members, employees, their phone numbers, names, emails, even way more info than that. And I'm not telling you that that's a vulnerability or you've got to hide this information, but I really think that it shouldn't be that easy to find. Anyway, it really does help for the social engineering purposes. 